Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited for today's tutorial because I'm using the new Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I am super excited. I'm doing a look with this palette this week and next week also so you can have a few kind of looks to choose from. Um, I'm just gonna go in with Soft Digger Paint Pot like always and then I'm gonna go in with the palette and the first shade I'm taking is Tempera and this is a very cream pinky matte shade that I'm just gonna pop on top of Soft ochre to just kind of dry it off so then the eyeshadow will glide on nicely. Then the second shade I'm dipping into from the palette is Burnt Orange and I think this is pretty much the same um, shade as the normal Burnt Orange from her single eyeshadows. I'm going to be taking that on my 228 brush from Zoeva and I'm doing a spotlight effect today or a halo effect so I'm just going to concentrate this colour on the outer corner first and then I'll go in on the inner corner. I'm using Circular Motions because I want this shade to be really buffed out and smoky and just kind of um, fluffy and when I say fluffy I mean just kind of soft and just kind of, it doesn't have to be exact, it just has to be in those certain areas but it doesn't have to be really sharp, don't, don't worry if it looks a bit messy, it doesn't have to be clean. Then just using the same brush but going on the inner corner, I like to use up and down motions for the inner corner and then I'll swipe it to the side to gradually take that colour to the centre of the eyelid but not actually hitting the centre. Then to warm it up just ever so slightly on the outer corner, I'm going to go in with the Real Gar, which is a beautiful like burnt orange. I know the other one's called burnt orange, but this legit is like burnt orange. Maybe they should have swapped names. But um, I'm just going to use the 228 brush again. And I'm only putting this colour on the outer corner because I wanted the warmth, well more warmth to be on the outer corner. I feel like it drags the eye out and because of that warmth it just opens up the eye a little bit more. And I'm just going to use that on my 228 using circular motions again pretty much on top of burnt orange. Then I'm going to go in with Love Letter which is a beautiful plummy pink. It's honestly such a... Um, unique colour. I don't think I've found an eyeshadow quite like this one and I'm going to take that on my 227 brush from Zoeva again and do it in the same areas but because it's a smaller brush it's going to be more dense and it's going to fit into that eye socket a lot more um, sharper. Going in on the inner corner with the same shade and the same brush and doing the exact same motions as before, so up and down and then sweeping to the side towards the centre of the lid. Then I'm going to slightly start to drag the shades together in that upper crease, just ever so slightly, just so it kind of blends nicely together so you don't get that harsh gap there because I wanted it to be more of like a halo rather than like a sandwich. <laughs> Then to just darken up with this eyeshadow look and start to make it a little bit more dramatic, I'm taking Red Ochre, which is my favourite shade in the palette. You guys will know why, because it's a very warm toned brown, and of course I'm going to be gravitating towards that. I could use this shade every day. Anyway, I'm using my 231 uh, Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva, and I'm going to pop this in the same areas, but you're going to do a lot more blending work with this brush because it is smaller, so it's harder to blend out and make it look nice and like blended. Pretty much. So yeah, you're going to have to use a lot more circular motions just to keep it um, looking gradient and not so harsh. Then taking that same shade on the inner corner and doing exactly the same motions that I did before. Then I'm going in with Tempera again. This is the shade that we first used. I'm just going to take this on the centre of the lid in that little gap. And what I do is I pack on the colour quite heavy and then I take my 228 with no additional product and just blend out those edges just to soften it up. But we keep that kind of brightness in the centre because we haven't blended that area out. And then I'm going to take my Fine Line Liner from the Mark Your Eyes uh, collection from LA Cosmetics and I'm just going to line my uh, lash line and then I'm going to start to smoke it out.
Okay, so I am cheating a little bit, but I am using Anastasia shade. I really needed a black for this, um, because obviously I use black liner, and I was thinking, oh my god, there's no black in this palette. So that's one of the things I probably would wish this palette had, is a black. Purely because I use black in nearly every single um, eyeshadow look. I don't know if you guys do, but I do, so... <laughs> Then I'm taking my NYX Doll Eye Mascara and I'm just going to coat my top lashes. Also, I'm doing another look next week with this palette, but let me know if you want to do another one too, because you can literally can do so many looks with this palette, so please let me know. Then I'm going back in with Real Gar, which is that orange shade, and I'm going to go on my lower lash line this time with my 231 Petite Crease Brush, and I'm just going to use side to side uh, motions and buff this in. I want it to be quite smoky. Then I'm taking Red Ochre on my Fruline little fluffy brush and I'm going to do exactly the same thing but because this is a cuz this is a cuz this is a smaller brush it's going to be closer to the lash line. Then I'm going to be taking Cypress Umber, which is a dark brown and the only really dark brown in the palette. And I'm just going to pop this on top. I'm only going to use a little bit. I didn't want it too dark underneath. Then going in with Vermeer, I think that is how you pronounce it. I'm going to be taking this on my little pencil brush and I'm going to be sticking this in the inner corner to open up the eye and just add a little bit of shimmer and sparkle to the look. Um, I decided to add black eyeliner to the waterline, so I'm taking my Rimmel London Gel Liner in black and I'm taking that on a liner brush and I'm just popping that in my waterline and then adding a coat of mascara to my bottom lashes. Then the falsies I'm using today are Certify Lashes in the style Comet. They have recently started doing lashes, um, you kind of guys would know them for their glitter because I always use their glitter too, um, but I'm absolutely obsessed with their lashes, they're beautiful, honestly, they're, they're so well made. And then going in with my liquid lipsticks from Anastasia. I'm using Ashton today. I'm not 100% keen on this lipstick look with the eyeshadow look, but I mean, who knows? I did like it at the time. <laughs> it's only when I look back, I'm like, hmm, does that really go? So thoughts and opinions allowed. Anyway, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this makeup look. There will be another one with this palette next week. And I know you guys have seen it on my Snapchat if you follow me there. So until next time, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and join Amy's Army here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.